last one, my shoulder was twitching. I had like a twitch deep in my shoulder the entire time. It's some magnesium. Yeah. Potassium. It started, magnesium. Once we, potassium. started once we talked about the one ring, huh? No. Your body just started what getting real What can you take in replace excited. of potassium? Potassium. Potassium upsets my stomach. Bananas. Like potassium, <laughs> potassium? Like pills or like bananas or something? Well, so I've narrowed it down to bananas and avocados. Oh, yeah. I was just going to say, you could try avocados. They have more potassium than bananas. Yeah. You could try supplement. Yeah. Just like a vitamin type thing? Mm-hmm. Uh, either that or like hydration drinks have, have a lot of salt, magnesium, and potassium in them. Gotcha. Yeah. Like LMNT or ghost hydration is really yummy. Yeah. Ghost hydration. Yeah, dude. They make hydration? They do, and it's freaking good. Yeah. Ghost like, like pine the hydration? Or? Uh-huh. They were a supplement company first. Like, well, they yeah. made proteins for a Mountain long time. Mountain Ops does it. like a bunch of stuff. Mountain Ops has them now. Everyone, pretty much everyone has them now. Mountain Ops. All, it's, like an easy, it's an easy win. All it is is salt, magnesium, and potassium, <laughs> and flavoring. Gross. Good actually. Oh, all right. If you get the right ones. You know what else is good? <laughs> what? Our podcast. Oh, yeah, it <laughs> is. I love our podcast. <laughs> it's so good. The best. I yes. Dude, I'm not mm-hmm. partial at all. And I, nope. It's the best. I'm not partial at all either. I listen to it every week. Yeah. It's the freaking yeah, awesome. I sure do too. Do you I guys really? Too. Yeah. Huh? Dude, I honestly, it's, it's so like, I will listen to it in the car to kind of give like a, Get the like vibe feedback. Like, yeah. Okay, what's it sound like in the car if I was a commuter? Or mm-hmm. no, I, I just, listen to it all the, every Monday. Yeah, I listen to it like a fan of the podcast. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> so that begs the question down in the comments. Let us know where you listen to us at. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm so curious. In the car. I listen to mine on my AirPods while I'm working. Yeah. So do you actually watch us on YouTube? Yeah. Do you have us running in the background while you're doing chores? Are you like me and you have it playing on Spotify as you're driving and you probably shouldn't? <laughs> Wait, why? Hey, you why? don't have to look. Are Dude, you I'm watching? <laughs> well, I mean, Tony. I'm not like watching, watching, but I mean, it's, I have it on my little stand and it's, it's I playing. Do I like, do that too. And you don't know how you got to work? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, through the, on the freeway somehow. I don't know. <laughs> you do have that brief moment where you're like, holy crap, how am I alive? <laughs> <laughs> I got that. Like, that's terrible. Don't, don't admit this, Tony. <laughs> That's no, it, the watching that I'm actually safer that way. It's the drowsy driving that gets me. That's scary stuff. <laughs> that is. That's true. There's yeah, so many times is. I've gotten home without not knowing how I got home. <laughs> well, Jesus took to the wheel. Autopilot. Apparently, oh, he did many a times. So, Don't admit that. That's worse than drunk driving. I but mean, hey, it happens. Sometimes you got to get home. <laughs> 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 oh my take Jesus gosh. take the will aka Tony yep. on our way home from podcast Tony take <laughs> the will I'm going to sleep oh so. man you, we need to get you guys Teslas ASAP <laughs> jeez ooh that would be fun yeah drive you home itself so. with that subscribe to our channel <laughs> <laughs> so we, we can all get want me Teslas. a Tesla all of us a Tesla so just know. it's so we get home safe yes. it's not hey, for Elon, selfish reasons you got enough cash just you know send us some yeah bro yeah, look us go. up we could do that so, this episode um, was brought to you by Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. I'll take a Model 3. I don't care. Okay. Yeah. What are are those the now? ones you see everywhere? Yeah. yeah. kind of look like a Prius a little bit? Yep. Yeah. That aren't, like, what was the word? Rare don't, at all? Don't you say <laughs> that. Look like a Prius. What? I feel like they look like a Prius. I mean, they kind of do. How Next dare you? How dare you compare the beloved Prius to a garbage Model Three? <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did, there. Elon. Make sure you stopped watching wow. before this part. <laughs> nice. I like that. I'm just kidding. That's I drove funny. a Rivian. Those are sweet. Yeah. Those are well, fun. we're not doing another vomlet tonight. No vomlet. No so vomlet. What we are gonna do first? I'm gonna introduce you guys to the crowd and Ooh. welcome you to the podcast. I've got to my left here, Tony, Hello, Austin, hey. Chris, Hello. and Cam. Hey, hey, hey. And tonight, I'm actually going to throw it over to Cam. Oh, it's my turn. Because he's got a wonderful ranker for us. That's right. I'm just the reader. Austin found the ranker. Dude, I so I read one of the stories on here, and it was 
so glorious. Oh, oh I'm the excited. story I read was a quitting story on a job where they. Oh, it, you'll you'll just have to find out. You have to stay tuned. Is it on this I'm list? I'm not gonna spoil it. It's on this list. Yes. It's a good list. Okay. We got 18 of these, so this may or may not be a two episode. Or little, I guess it depends on how long we talk about each one. Yeah. So the the ranker or the topic of episode is uh what what how does how do they word it, it again? It was. 18 sweet revenge stories of people doing exactly what they were told. Oh, to those do. are fantastic. Yeah. Everyone knows when they do this too. We've all done it. You get that little smirk and you're like, all right, I'm going to do exactly what you told me. <laughs> yep. My kids do it to me all the time. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Every time. Mm, all right. That's critical thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, My number daughter 18. just made a re- a, an executive decision. <laughs> <laughs> My baby. Sorry. Good stuff. Uh, Number 18, want to use the restroom? Sorry, it's for paying customers only. I was working at a subway a few years ago, and a man came in with his wife and two children. I had all four sandwiches started when a man asked me for the code to the bathroom. The policy was you had to make a purchase to get the bathroom code. But But by the way, he was doing the potty dance. It was pretty apparent that this guy needed to go. Obviously... Either he or his wife will pay for the four sandwiches I've already started. The next day, my boss sits me down and lectures me about how the code is on the receipt for a reason. She watched the tape and saw me give the man the code and tells me, I don't care who it's for, whether it's your friend, family, whatever, you name it. You do not give the code under any circumstances. Cue malicious compliance. I like that. Later on that night, a few cops arrive. One of the officers comes in and asks for the bathroom code. Like six hours earlier, my boss told me not to give it under any circumstances without a purchase. I told him what I told the other customers. I'm sorry, you have to make a purchase first. You could get a cookie, which is like zero dollars, and then it'll be on the receipt. The rejection of the bathroom code caused the cop to become straight up furious. He gives me three warnings to give him the code. Each time I tell him I'm not going to give him... Give, to, give it oh, to him. Man. And the customers are on my side telling him I'm just doing my job. After his third warning, he shook his head and muttered, I can't believe you're interfering with an ongoing investigation. And he uses the walkie on his shoulder to get some information. About five minutes later, one of the cops handed me a phone. I answered and my manager said, are you effing serious? Long story short, the cop got the bathroom code and a free bag of chips. <laughs> <laughs> TLDR manager tells me not to give the bath well tells me to give the bathroom code to pain customers only, so I deny a cop. <laughs> they call the manager and get permission. <laughs> That's awesome. That's exact I I'm the all manager about this. can't be mad about that. No. Like Are you having serious? Yes. I know. Yes, I did exactly what you told me. I wanna know how n- not getting into the bathroom was interfering with uh the investigation. What investigation? I'm curious. I was going to say there might have been more to it that maybe there's maybe something they, going maybe on. Maybe there's something going on in the back. <laughs> because the cop's the not out there investigating because he has to pee. <laughs> maybe they arrested maybe. somebody who tried to hide something in the bathroom. Yeah, I was going to say it could be something. Well, they'd come out that. and say that. Yeah. Like, Dude, I, I, but I have. I two. still would have told no. Even if you would have said, hey, I just arrested a guy out there that dropped some evidence in your bathroom. I need to get in there. I'd be like, I ain't got to make a purchase and first. I, I can attest. This <laughs> is a subway thing. And this is the dumb. Another reason I hate subway. I've twice had issues where I needed to use the bathroom. They were the only place open. And they're like, no, you got to buy something. Really? Oh, yeah, about dude. their bathrooms that are so glorious. Happened twice, so. both times in Vegas. Wow. I'd be like, all so stupid. Release. I'd be, I would yep. straight up, dude. Yeah, I would just right pee on the, on the floor. floor. Like, on the floor. like Big Daddy style, how I they would. go out back and pee on the building. <laughs> <laughs> I would have them pee right on the floor. Yep, just pee right on the door handle. Don't pull it out. Of the bathroom. Just let it go. <laughs> yep, just pee. Yep. Elsa, it. let it go. <laughs> let it go. <laughs> Operation Elsa. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's oh, awesome. Gosh. Want to call my boss? Go ahead. <laughs> so, my dad used to own his own company. He had a contract to do some work on someone's kitchen, a very simple job for my dad, but there was an antagonist, the neighbor who we would call Karen. Hmm. It was 10 a.m., and Karen opens her window and shouts to my dad. I'm back from my night shift, and I have another tonight. You need to keep it down. My dad replies, I do apologize, but we are currently within trading hours, and I have a job to do. 
Karen just scoffs and walk, walks away. Roughly 20 minutes later, Karen comes back. I told you to keep it down. I have, my, I have the night shift. My dad reiterates, as I have already stated, it is trading hours and we have a job to do as well. Karen comes out of her house and walks up to my dad saying, I want your boss's phone number right now. Cue malicious compliance. <laughs> This, this was my dad's company, after all, as in he owned it. He was the boss. Instead of playing the I am the boss card, he, compl- <laughs> he complied and gave Karen his business card and his work mobile number on it. My dad thought she was bluffing, but he God. then got a call less than 10 minutes later, and he answered, it was Karen. I would like to make a complaint. You have workers here, and they're making too much noise, and I have a night shift tonight and need some sleep. Also... One of them was extremely rude to me and needs to be dealt with. My dad replied, as I've told you twice already through your window, it is trading hours. We have a job to do. And furthermore, your night shift is of no concern to me or my team. Karen just swore at my dad and hung up. My dad was able to finish the work he was given without any more issues. That's awesome. You know what this reminds me of? Uh, I saw a video um, where you know how like some work trucks have like how's my driving and they have a yeah. phone number on the uh-huh. back uh-huh. i saw a video oh yeah i know exactly yeah, ahead. where someone called the number to complain that this work truck cut them off well at, when they called the number it was the guy in that truck and they started having like this fight back and forth and honestly i'm on the pedestrian side and, and we've talked about this in an earlier podcast but the story, at least from their bickerment, was that it was a construction zone. The co- cones were forcing the guy in the work truck over. Well, the other person didn't just let him in. Um, and so the guy kind of just cut him off to come in to their lane, basically. And uh, and so, yeah, they were all pissed going back and forth. And they're... I can't remember all the words that were said, but the guy in the work truck ended up slamming on his brakes, f- causing the other person to rear end him. And then the person on the, uh, on the other line, they were like, Oh, I just got that whole thing on camera. So good job, man. And then you just hear the guy in the work truck, like, Oh, this is effing ridiculous. Like just kind of, but it's, <laughs> it was just hilarious that it's like, they call the house, my driving number. And it happens to be that <laughs> driver. It's the literal driver. Yeah. <laughs> Just wanted to call and let you know you're a piece of crap. You suck. (laughs) (laughs) I wonder, I mean, court order would honestly probably favor the work truck in that regard. Right? Like, because you can't follow that closely. Well, no, not after that, that, but like the rear ending. Well, if you watch the video, though, like there's a good distance. And then all of a sudden he kind of starts to slow down, causing the person to kind of come up on him and then immediately hits his brakes. So oh, it starts really? as kind of slowing down, and then he hits the brakes just fast. And it, he's probably hoping he, you he can didn't tell have a it's intentional. Like, wow. but like even the cone situation, like I said, I know we've talked about it before. That always pisses me off when you've got signs saying right lane closed ahead, and then you see the arrows pointing over, and those people still wait to the last possible minute like to get speed over. Speed up. Yep. Yep. I, I agree with Tony. And don't talk to us about that zipper hey, effect. I was that zipper say effect zipper is effect stupid. Works. No, Dude, but zipper, that, that's the way it should be. It, but it's efficient if people abide by it. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's all dependent upon you allowing people in. But the zipper is the most efficient way to get on the freeway. Science proves it. You don't do the zipper? No. Doesn't mean so I like you're it. the problem. <laughs> no, because I get over beforehand. What? He gets over before the lane ends. Oh, yes. you're one of those people. I am curious, and as soon as there's a spot, I'm curious. I'm courteous, and as soon as there's a spot open, I will get over. Do you let people in? After See, here's you get over? The, here's the no. thing. Here's the That's thing. That's not courteous. I hate, well, here's, here's the, the thing. thing. Sometimes, sometimes <laughs> no. I do. Unless I see one of those cars that will just speed up and go all the way then. I know it's the zipper effect, but at the same time, it's like. Well, now I, you're buddy. I've said this yeah, for exactly. years. <laughs> I've said this for years. I don't. I hate it when cars are courteous. I just want you to obey the law because I know what the law is and I know what you should do according to that law. And then I know how to avoid you. Like I hate it when 
you get you get to a four way stop and you're clearly like the last person mm-hmm. and they all sit there waiting for you. I'm I, like, what the freak are you doing? Go! I, I go yeah. through a four way stop every day on my way to work and that happens so many times. People I just sit it. there and they're like, "Go and, ahead." I'm and, like, "No, just yeah. freaking go!" <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, don't be nice. <laughs> Kara can attest. I'm on the phone so many times with her and I'll yell, "It is your turn! It is your right away!" I like, go. It. Question. <laughs> four way stop. Everyone shows up at the same time. I mean, say one doesn't. What, uh, so what three a, people show up at the same sure. time. Sure. Who goes first? The person on the right? Farthest to the right. Farthest or the, fr- the right. person on the furthest to the left? Farthest, farthest to the right. right. Farthest to the right. I'm yeah. trying to think now. So if <laughs> so there's the right three cars, the right away. it's whoever the farthest right one is. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're here, it's this one over here. If you're here, it's this guy. What if, if it's here, four then? If you're here, there's this empty space. So you are the farthest right. What you, if it's four? If then? it's four, then it's basically you. You all pick someone, <laughs> go and then you go and ride. Yeah. Like just go. <laughs> yep. <Yeah>. Someone. <laughs> someone's just got to go, forward. and then so, everyone but, to but the then right. It would, it, but then it would go. I know that. I just know whoever's turning yeah. left is usually the last to go. So here, here's here's my yes. idiocy. Yes. I always thought it was the person to the left. <laughs> So you're always the guy like, <laughs> well, so well, you're on the right, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but here's my reasoning. Here's my reasoning. Roundabouts will all work on who's on your left. Yeah. So my, my, oh, my, yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. my okay. methodology was oh, always yeah. like yield to the person yeah. on your left, similar to a, to a roundabout. To a round, okay. Roundabouts are survival of the fittest. No, man, you got to watch That's out. That's the same reason in crowded parking lots. I go to the farthest left entrance so I can get on the road. Because yeah. everyone has to wait for you. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, so I read that in a book, and I was like, no shit. <laughs> 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 I've been the problem all these years. All this time. I hate it when you're pulling up to a stop sign, and the people s- are stopped, <coughs> and they see you, and they see you're clearly stopping, and they still wait for you to fully stop. Oh, I know, and right? Yeah. Go. It's like, just go. You or see me stopping. Just there's, get it over with, so I, I stop and go. I yeah. guess there is the unwritten rule of... It depends. Like, if you do get to a crowded four-way stop, there's four cars. I mean, if it's you're not sure who went, if someone's going like straight and you're going straight, first. you go too. Yeah. Like, yeah. if you have opportunity to go, you go. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. That way, nobody has to wait for you. Right. Yeah, so or, I like, read if that you're or like, they're going straight. Taking yeah. a right turn. The guy coming yep. straight He's at going you straight. and you want to take a right exactly. turn. Exactly. Go. Yeah. Just, That's, yeah. I've gotten to a four-way stop with a semi-truck. And he, I'm, like, last one to show up, but he's going through the intersection at the time. And I'm going the other way. I'll just go. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. there's no point in waiting for the other cars to go when I can. Yeah. I have being efficient. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. The person Dude. on the other side. Hey, hey, hey. It's yeah. not your turn. Hey, it's not your turn. <laughs> the other <laughs> worst thing, though, with semi trucks is when you accidentally like go into the turn, not realizing that they're widening, widening. to turn. Yeah. And you're like, oh, I always want to just get out and be like, sorry, bro. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Complete accident. <laughs> I've wish, never done that. Okay, that's goodness. why I wish every car came with like a little marquee on the back to where you could put in kind of like quick okay. things so you can have like a big, sorry. A, it's got like emotes on there. Yeah. Like, mm. Here's the thing on that though. If the semi driver doesn't have his blinker on and True. goes into the straight lane to try to turn and with no blinker, that's his own stupid fault. True. Because that's happened Until to me before. Until you get swallowed but the thing under is, well, exactly. I was going to say, in the game of who wins exactly. this battle, it's always going to be that, him. <laughs> that's happened to me before where I realized he's turning and luckily I could stop yeah. beforehand. Ah. But it's like he had no blinker on. And it's yeah. like, what, what are you doing, man? Yeah. So. And speed up on arm ramps. Yes. Oh, that's. You're supposed you know, to get up to the speed of the freeway. <laughs> By the time you get to the end of it, man, going to 15 work fifteen miles an hour over. Yes, going to work today. By the time we hit the freeway, I was going thirty-five miles an hour. Yep, I was like, "Are you freaking kidding me? Do you realize you, how dangerous this is?" And then is? you have people behind you that are like trying to pass you, and yeah. it's like, "I'm not the problem." Yep. Oh, that's the worst. <laughs> it's hard to do a get up ramp. to the speed limit <laughs> on the on ramp. Exactly. It's like you're trying to merge onto a freeway. People going 70 plus. You are why we have traffic. Uh, yeah. People suck. Which is why technically, even though I get mad at people when you're trying to merge on and they won't get over to the empty lane, technically the rule is they don't have to because nope. you are supposed to adjust your speed to them uh-huh. and merge in. Exactly. Yep. Still pisses me off because they should be at least courteous enough to get over. Yeah. But yeah. They don't have to. I learned that one real quick because that always pissed me off. But rule though too, if you have the opportunity to get over and you yeah, see you should on, absolutely you should. But someone driving right now has encountered one of these issues. 
just now. <laughs> Dude, the other the other thing I really hate is it's happening right now. They're probably listening to this podcast and all of these things are happening. And I hope someone's at a four way stop and they're like, no shit. Like what? The person to my right we has all showed right up. away. We all showed Not up at the, the same time. To my left. It'd be hilarious if they're literally waving at the person on their left right now. Hey, it's your turn. Oh. Thanks, five is a crowd. <laughs> it's actually you. <laughs> it's you, sir. <laughs> you, go. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But also, like, if you're going to change lanes on the freeway, you should not expect the other lane to slow down for you. No, no. absolutely not. Drives me crazy. Like, they'll put their blinker on, and it's like they're trying to get over, but you're going too fast. And it's like, I'm not slowing down. Oh, I will never slow down. We're just letting you know we are coming over. If it's like traffic and stuff, then it's like, okay, I'll leave you a gap. You can get in. But when you're all flying down the freeway, it's like, no, you don't go slow and get in front of them. Like they're in the middle lane coming up on the car in front of them, and you're kind of behind them, but coming up quick. Giving them a safe distance. Yeah. They just come on over. Yeah. It's like, I no, always no, no. check my you, side mirror to see, okay, I, is there someone next to me? And if there's not, how fast is the person behind right, me coming exactly. up? Exactly. And I won't even turn on my blinker until that car is out of the way. Yes. And I'm yeah. like, blinker for the one who's way back. Right. I'm like, wee. Yeah. I always end I up love, clear back. This is the second most awake I've seen Zach ever. Bro. So we know what keeps him awake. Traffic. Rock <laughs> and traffic yeah. stories. He's like, oh. Traffic oh, I hate traffic issues. Now, right. do you ever do this? Sorry, you go ahead. I hate it when I'm trying to keep a safe distance and people are still crowding in. So oh. just keep pushing. And then they don't, and they just keep pushing you back further and further. Because they're just like, oh, so he's giving us room to move over. <laughs> how do you and think, he's like, okay. How do you oh, think okay. semi trucks feel? I hate it. It's like I'm carrying thousands and thousands of pounds of flammable liquid. It's like I need room to stop. I'm not letting you in. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh. Have you ever have you ever tried to be the one to fix traffic? <laughs> Going between you know two I mean? lanes? <laughs> no, 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 no. Like you, you basically, you go like you coast essentially. Like if you're in like dead like stop a lot of frequent stops, oh, you coast. Yes. So you never you try to never stop. Yeah. 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 Cause that'll fix traffic. Yes. Uh-huh. I like read this whole thing about it, like, and that's why sometimes yeah, the cops will get out and like pace, yeah, yeah. they'll because yeah. they want everyone to just go without stopping, and then he lets them flow. Yep, yep. I, I read somewhere <laughs> that if everybody just drove the speed limit, there would never be any traffic jams. Yep. But the problem is, is they one person it's it's because someone follows too closely. Another person hits their brakes for some reason, and then that just is a ripple effect. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say, through, the, you hit through the brakes, time that, and space. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the brakes is what causes the ripple effect, and there's times where I'll drive, and yeah, it's I won't touch my brakes at all. Have you ever just, had yeah, have you ever yep. had that merging I mean, lane? The what? Sorry. The merging lane, and then people, like, everybody's over. Everybody did their part, mm-hmm. and then people just keep coming up to try to cut in front, and you don't. So I'll just move over into that merging lane. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Between. Kind of block them. People yep. get so pissed I've, off. I've done that before. I'm just like, like yep. they'll be like, <laughs> I'm like. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like, no, like, where's the logic? There. Yeah. Where's the logic in trying to, like, very quickly get to the front of the line where you're just going to have to slow down and wait? You're just two cars ahead now. Because you get in front of all those other people. You're just two cars ahead. Then you're not first in the race. People think that their time is more important than everybody else's. That is the moral of this entire ranker. I've already seen in the last ones, like, people are so freaking entitled and prideful. You're the issue. I like the the last last meme of... uh, the left lane is like the left lane is reserved for people who are willing to break the law. Yeah. Get yeah. over, right? <laughs> yes. It's like you can yeah. consistently be going ten over, but if you're like if you want to if you want to be in the left lane, you gotta like you gotta break the law. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the truth. Yeah. It's, it's like, pretty oh, much most cops give you about a ten to twelve mile an hour grace. Right? That's for the That's middle lane. So much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Yep. If the you're right in lane. The fast lane. You're not doing at least fifteen over. Move over, bro. Those are rookie numbers. We gotta put those numbers up. <laughs> right lane is for speed limit. Middle lane is ten over. Left lane is just the wild west. <laughs> Going with carpool. Time. That's kind of a. See, it's got to be at least dude, 10 over. That's no man's land. <laughs> carpool? That's I the one enjoy that the carpool me. Oh, right? Yeah. Carpool lane. If you're in the damn carpool lane Take and you are going it. the speed limit of everybody oh, in the far right lane, oh. you need to get out of the carpool lane and get over. Well, personally, yep. it's yep. not even just the speed of the right lane. If you're in the carpool lane and there's anybody passing you. Yes. 
anybody, anybody. then you're in the wrong lane. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> like, there should not be a single car passing you if you're in that lane. Yep. Exactly. Mommy's getting to soccer. <laughs> <laughs> Mom needs to drive faster. <laughs> Uh, Ugh, I can't that stand lane, people yeah, who that just sit in that carpool me lane. Nuts. And 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 it's <laughs> the same thing. We've been ranting on this for <laughs> twenty minutes. Everybody can relate. Every single one of them gets it. Freaking uh, American. Unless they're the one that does it. That's true. If you are, you, lo- if you're just the sitting there thinking yeah. nobody does this, uh, you're really, the problem. I'll you know what I have day. been trying to be better at. Because I, I notice it with other cars. So I, cars that like fly past me and everything, and then we end up on the same exit at the same time, even though he was like weaving so in and out fun. of traffic. I try and tell myself that to make sure it's like, like I'm trying to get around someone, they're going slow, and I'm like, oh, I could hurry and do this and get around them. But it's like my exit's here in the next five miles. It's like it's going to save me 20 mm, seconds. Nope. The, it's the like, risk. You're like, do I risk it, try to go around, or do I get boxed out by a semi? Like the only way, my exit? the only you, way those maneuvers work is if you catch the green light on your exit. Yep. Uh huh. <laughs> nope. I, I don't care. I know if they're you going don't. slow, and the I have to, and I have <laughs> to boost around them. I will boost around them, and slightly cut them off to prove that hey, you're going slow. Quit being a jackass. <laughs> Here's the meme I was thinking of. He words it a lot better. Just because you're going five miles over the speed limit doesn't mean you can drive in the left lane. Some of us are trying to break the law for real. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Everyone just needs to use cruise control. We'd all be, we'd all be uh, I use cruise control. I will never forget <laughs> when we drove down to Zion's for your bachelor party, uh, <laughs> Cam and I were carpooling together. And you set your cruise at like 80, 85, yeah. right in there. Mm-hmm. And there was this one car, no joke, from like South Salt Lake to like past Provo. Like, I mean, it was a, no, maybe it was even farther south than that. It was far. But he, he was off and on with us the entire time. And it was like one minute he's like, Vroom. and we're like, he was, oh, like, wow. he's And then all of a sudden, it's like a little bit later. Vroom. And it's like, when did we pass him? Yeah, he <laughs> was stressing, dude. He was bobbing and weaving and he'd get stuck. <laughs> and we were just consistent the whole time. And then he'd be like, ah, and he gets stuck again. Ah, and I'm like, bro, what are you doing? <laughs> I feel like that happens on every road trip. There's always that yes. one car. It's the two wet lane I-15 area. Yeah, uh-huh. They try it so hard, but they, it's like they don't realize they're not getting anywhere. Mm-hmm. In that stretch of long desert where yeah. there's really nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Love it. Love oh, it so much. Right, continue on in this rank. Oh yeah, let me share another story. Off on a tangent let's, long enough. This is gonna be a three-parter. Let's no. see where this one takes us. <laughs> <laughs> Bags way too much. Give me a minute. Oh, I bet we got some stuff to say about this. This is probably airlines. Oh, oh, yeah. Boy. oh yeah. When I travel by plane, I'm usually quite conscious about the weight of my luggage because of how much you have to pay if it exceeds the limit. This time I put a bit more stuff in because of gifts. The gifts, but I thought it was fine. I pass the police and get to the check-in, where the attendant indicated for me to proceed. I give her my passport, do the usual stuff, and I put my luggage on the scale, which shows 23.05 kilograms. Weight limit is 23 kilograms. Oh, Oh, no. I was quite pleased with myself while looking at it, thinking I got it just right. But no, the woman tells me I need to pay 50 euros for excess baggage. Oh I took, gosh. I look at her confused, telling her it's 50 grams. Surely it doesn't matter. She replied, she repeats herself and then starts arguing until she's, and we start arguing until she says either you pay 50 euros or you somehow make the luggage 50 grams lighter. I didn't have a carry on, so I couldn't take anything with me. Cue malicious compliance. <laughs> At the moment, I, re- I remember a 200 gram of chocolate that is sitting in my luggage, and I start smiling. I open the luggage, Uh-oh. I take the chocolate out, and I start nibbling at it with a grin on my face while looking at the woman, who goes from Pikachu shocked face to annoyed. She tells me to hurry up, so I offer her some, and she just stared at me. I ended up eating exactly a quarter of the 200 gram, and lo and behold, the scale showed 23 kilograms. The woman gives me my ticket while glaring at me, and I tell her to have a good day. That's fantastic. (laughs) That's beautiful. And the best part is, is the weight is now just on him. So it doesn't change at all in the airplane. Well, I I like that he didn't. 
I thought he was just gonna like finish the chocolate. I like that he just ate enough. <laughs> yeah, just, just so it would be under. I wonder if he was like, like he would take a bite, yeah, take a bite. set it on there. Yeah, all my, no. uh, there we go. Uh, he, he goes under and he's like, oops. <laughs> <laughs> what too much <laughs> oh my gosh what a joke the airline industry You're, is who was it that just said though the weight's now on him he did like yeah that yeah. that honestly that is what's ridiculous about some of this it's like what well, does the weight have anything to do with it if not it's discrimination though they can't do that <laughs> <laughs> can't that's do the it. thing like they, they can't do it i don't know how they do it because they calculate how much baggage weight you could have but they have no idea how much the passengers weigh yeah and all of this goes into fuel efficiency yeah right they know some fuel things. efficiency right yeah. exactly so like i one time was stuck on the tarmac because they had to take off fuel because we had too much yeah i was I've like that's that the dumbest there. thing i've ever heard just fly and then put it in a different place somewhere else <laughs> freaking idiot <laughs> have you seen these uh Trying to go green here, Cam. Yeah, sure they are. Flying a jet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you guys think you think you're destroying the ozone down there on the ground? We go up to the source and spread it. <laughs> I will say about that one. In the guy's defense, he was doing his job. Stop it. As stupid <laughs> as stupid Back. as it is, he was doing his job. I mean But the attitude. Yes. Be like, dude, I know. But over that's that's I mean yeah look and say dude so I get dumb. it this is the stupidest thing in the world and that, that's where I as an employee would do this well that's have you seen yep. the picture yeah. slightly lift it with your foot <laughs> yeah. so there's a there's a Reddit out there that says uh, it's it's bros sharing their wins or whatever and it was a kid at the airport and he has his foot on the baggage lifting it up just a little bit and yeah, so the weight comes yep, off exactly. or whatever exactly yeah. see that's be that person yep. yeah. yeah just be that bro just set it perfectly enough to where you can put your foot underneath and lift it up just a little bit <laughs> it's so ridiculous oh I love it I love these so much you want to book the hotel go right ahead four years ago on a trip I husband booked our hotel as I usually do I am what you would describe as thrifty <laughs> Zach <laughs> thrifty <laughs> I like that thrifty's better and I don't like spending a ton on hotels when we are basically just sleeping there the hotel I booked was for this for cockroaches I will say like I do agree with that but I've been in a sketchy hotel yeah. when it's you by yourself it's not that bad but like I was there with Shaylee and I felt terrible. Yeah. The trick, and, and I was slightly terrified that we might get shot. The trick is you just bring your own pillow. Exactly. That's the <laughs> and a blanket to sleep on. No, I, I get it to a point. <laughs> but at the same time, you've got some nice, nice hotel salt. rooms that you can spend, you know, one, two hundred dollars for the mm -hmm. night. I don't think there's any reason to spend six, seven hundred dollars oh, yeah. for a hotel room. I mean, yeah. it's cool, but there's no reason. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, the hotel I booked for this leg of the journey was probably not the most high class and sure it was not in the safest area of town. <laughs> this was definitely a hotel where some acts of questionable legality and morality occur. <laughs> in my defense, I was a very, it was a very last minute booking it's as Cecil we were supposed hotel. to stay. <laughs> <laughs> we were supposed to be staying with family and there were very few options available under 150 a night. The stay, were, the stay there ended up being fine, but my wife gave me greed, greed, grief. It, it has been a long-running joke between us for the past four years. We are now visiting the first to, for the first time again in four years. I went to book the hotel. My wife said, no way. It's my hometown, and I am doing it this time. So she pulls up ye old price line and <laughs> starts looking at prices, specifically looking for a place with a pool for the littles. She looked at, she looks at one, reads the review in details, and says it looks good, especially for the lower price. She even calls to make sure the pool is open because of COVID. I look at the photos and look back at her, thinking she was making a joke. She was not. You malicious of compliance. I just smiled and said, "Whatever you think, babe." As we approach the hotel, I look, I see a look of confusion slowly wash over her face. She says, "Wait, is this?" And trails off. I reply with a resounding, yep, sure is. 
<laughs> she booked us the exact same hotel that ha- she has been grieving me about for four years. I laughed and laughed and laughed. She cannot believe she did it. And I also think it's hilarious. I am vindicated. <laughs> victory. <laughs> yes. Sweet, sweet victory. Yeah, dude. Man, That's hotels are Hotels are rough. <laughs> they make them look so nice. They do. And then you show up and you're like, whoa. So last time we went to California for Kaylee's Cheer stuff, I booked a hotel. It was like, a, I was like, this is a great price. Like, yeah. pictures look great. I pulled up like street view and I was like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> this is garbage. And so Cecil immediately hotel. like canceled it all, like booked a different one for more expensive. But I was like, that place was sketchy. Dude, we, uh, when we went down to Vegas before getting pregnant with Lucas, we stayed at the Flamingo Hotel and it's a, like, it's a decent hotel there in Vegas. But even then you, there were some things about the room that weren't the greatest, like the shower. They put in like those super eco-friendly shower heads that, Ugh. and you, you don't have any hair, but, <laughs> but you're like trying to wash your hair and you're like, this is stupid. I'm going to have to sit underneath this head. For like, like five wine minutes, just like, and yeah, it's like, just like no, it was brand new, but the water oh, just was but there's like, like zero pressure, just using, just dripping on you, dude. Yes. Using more water, yeah, using more water, trying to trying stand to underneath save. it and get all rinsed off. You take the shower head off and have a waterfall. Oh, uh, there you go. That's true. That's true. what I do. Oh, that's smart. That's what I do. Or pack. just take your own freaking shower head with you. <laughs> like, oh my! Pack a shower head because you know gonna be they're fifty gonna grams suck. heavy. <laughs> that's genius, <laughs> right, dude? Yeah, that's great. I just take the head. I just you know, take it off. you buy one on Amazon. Uh-huh. You, then you Do you go take it? it, use it, and then you return, return it. it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Actually, you get a filter. Saying that, um, so we love to bathe our kids with a shower with the hose. Like the showers uh-huh. you can oh, like yeah, take yeah. off and have a hose. And so going to a hotel room or something always makes it difficult. So that's genius. It's yep. like bring our shower head with the hose. Take it with you. <laughs> yeah. The worst part is, is that same shower, they like tried to make it super modern. And so it was just like a glass wall, but a big entrance. Uh, so like the water still like it got everywhere. <laughs> water like it got everywhere, and it was cold, and you couldn't oh, warm up because there wasn't enough freaking water. <laughs> Dude, that's the worst. It was uh, so annoying. Anyway. Shower in the sink, just splash yeah, water dude. on you. Uh, All right, hair goes against dress code. I'll cut it off. <laughs> oh. When I was in the fire academy, the women's dress code said that hair had to be worn in a neat bun. I had layered shoulder-length hair, so it was difficult to keep up neatly all day long. Most of my instructors were understanding and said that as long as my hair was up and my mask could seal to my face, they would consider me to be in dress code. However, there was one instructor who said there was no excuse. We're a paramilitary type school, so dress code is extremely important. She acknowledged that it wasn't a safety issue, but told me I had to follow it anyway and that doing my best wasn't good enough. She wrote me up three times and called me in for a meeting to inform me that another write-up for the same issue would get me expelled from the program. I looked into the dress code and saw that men's hair code was much more lenient. It just said that hair must not touch the collar of the shirt or the top of the ears. Cue malicious compliance. The night after that meeting, I went to a hair place and told the stylist to do whatever she wanted to my hair as long as it fit those requirements. She was stoked and gave me a really cute pixie cut. The next day, the same instructor tried to write me up, but since I was technically in dress code, she couldn't. The next semester, there was a man with long hair who wore it in a bun instead of cutting it. And the following semester, the dress code was rewritten to be gender neutral. That was lame. (laughs) We thought we were going somewhere. Bill! (laughs) (laughs) I showed her I cut my hair. I was expecting like G.I. Jane style. Right? She pulls out clippers right in front of her instructor and starts to just buzz her head. Yeah, I was thinking like a reverse mohawk or something that looked ridiculous. That was dumb. Cute pixie cut shirt. That looked whatever. (laughs) You really taught her. (laughs) Want to try our hottest wing if you insist? Oh, boy. I used to own a wing joint. Inevitably, we would have people come in and order suicide wings. I like super spicy food, so these were pretty hot. Of those people, about 5 to 10% would start the jokes 
start the joke, sarcastic conversation. These aren't that hot. Can't you do any better? Yuck, yuck, yuck. Cumulations <laughs> and compliance. Ooh, this is right from the get-go. Right? right. <laughs> the majority of the story. When our spicy wing connoisseurs would show up and complain about it not being hot enough, I would serve a death head wing, which I made by grinding ghost peppers, seeds and all, into a nice paste and combining it with our suicide sauce. Good heavens. I would only serve them one death head wing at a time. I would make them wear gloves and eat it and eat it to prevent capsaicin burns on their skin. I would specifically tell them about the heat they were about to get into, trying to dissuade them from eating this culinary monstrosity. By the time we got through all this, every single person always now viewed this as an insult and could not be stopped from eating this wing. So they did. The fun thing about capsaicin oil is it often takes a few seconds to kick in, usually just enough time for the person to scarf down the wing and start to smugly tell us that it wasn't hot. And then the heat would begin. And once it started, it was relentless. The wing was free, but the cup of milk was $20. (laughs) I never had a single person ask for a second one. (laughs) (laughs) That's funny. (laughs) $20. That's smart. Oh, my gosh. I love that. That's hilarious. It's like, you can leave. Take your free wing and go. Bye. That's funny. We know, we know all too well the hot. <sighs> we know all too well. I'd pay the $20. Yeah, dude. What the heck with that pain? Speaking of which, I got a, you know that hot spicy popcorn we had? Yeah. They oh. sent us version two mm. if we want to try it. That'll suck. That <laughs> stuff was freaking hot. Yeah. Was it hotter than the one chip? Uh, no, no, but it was pretty high but it up compounded because it, it was, was like a lot of popcorn, and so you're like taking handfuls well, and you're trying was, to chew it. And the get goal it was just to, I guess, the bag was only like that big. Yeah. Okay. But you, the goal was just to eat the whole bag. So, like, as far as popcorn goes, it was a very small amount because I scarfed that down easy. Yeah. But the spice made it impossible. Oh Jeez. man, because it would just sit there in your mouth, and you'd. Like, you, you know, you can't you get a popcorn, popcorn quickly. Yep. Yeah. You get a popcorn kernel stuck in there, all spicy. i try it. No, thanks. Yeah, you guys up for round two? Mm. Absolutely not. Come on, good. you pansies. Mm. <laughs> Chris is man enough. You didn't like the shakes last time? <laughs> well, Tony, you quit. <laughs> <laughs> I, technically, my body did, too. <laughs> I was like, oh, nope. Yeah. I know, you were freezing. It's just like... Yeah, Tony quit. I was I, in shock. I was shaken, yeah. In shock. <laughs> you were in shock. I was. Did you see they I took was. those chips off the shelf because the kid that yeah, died? one of those kids uh, that's died. That's so sad. Did he die from that? Uh-huh. I don't think well, so. Well, he had a he had heart other health issues like heart issues and stuff, uh, and he ate the chip, and it caused. Did he have the chip? Maybe, probably. Have Just, the what? A little too big. The heart was a little too big. Maybe. Like the know. Grinch. Yeah. yeah. The <laughs> COVID Grinch. At the end. The COVID Grinch. Oh. Mm. I don't know. <gasps> Hard to imagine anyone dying from an oil that uh, that only triggers your nerves, doesn't actually cause any real pain. Mm. It's wild what capsaicin does. So if you so, don't yeah, know, capsaicin freaking. oil tricks your nerve endings into thinking that they're on fire when obviously so not. weird. So it, it's only a mental, like it's a mental game. Yeah, I don't know. My stomach is still pretty permanently that's, messed that's up. That's a mental. But the mental, if it messes, up, if it makes your brain think something's going on, like it yeah. can produce more acid or trying to do something. Yeah, I'm with you though. Stomach My stomach's still? never been the same. It has it? I am back I really to like can't. I still do eat stuff with hot sauce on it. I, I think every I'm, day. I'm sl- I think I'm slowly gaining it back. Dude, I got this like freaking ghost pepper salsa from Harmon's. Oh, so good. Dude, we Gross. need to go to B Dubs. So good. All of us. I was just thinking about that after the last one. Yeah, I was let's like, do it. Now, let's go to B Dubs, man. I still don't have my smell back from COVID. That's for better or worse. Yeah. It depends on the situation. For the most part, it sucks. Because <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, is, I don't notice smell most of the time unless there's something smelly around. That's true. But unless you, if, but when you don't have it, you start to realize. That, that being said, Chris, I've been wanting to talk to you about it, your smell lately. <laughs> It's a bit much. You stink. <laughs> it's not. I'm very <laughs> thorough. I'm just kidding. Oh, you smell good. <laughs> I'm very <laughs> thorough. <laughs> it smells really good. I'm very thorough. <laughs> All right. Group member wants us to do his work. Sure thing. 
I just finished a big group project worth about 30% of our total grade. The groups were selected for us, so I don't know, I didn't know anyone beforehand. Like any other group, there's always a slacker who just piggybacks off of everyone else's work. This project spanned the entire length of the term, and this slacker just did the absolute bare minimum or nothing at all for each of the deliverables. Well, here comes the end of our ter- end of the term, and we have to submit our final report, which had to include a video demo of our app. This made up a significant portion of the marks. Of course, the slacker puts it off to the last possible minute to tell us that he's not home and will be busy all day. Wait, will be busy the day of the submission. Of course, the group was planning to record the last day because of the rest of the project had to be finished in order to demo it. Cue malicious compliance. Obviously, I'm pissed. Because this dude is just being a huge pain in the butt. Is being a huge pain, but I tell him, it's all good, man. We'll just cover your part in the demo. He happily agrees as he won't have to do crap once again. Here's the kicker. In the requirements of the demo, every member has to be in the recording or you won't get any marks for the por- for that portion. Clearly, this guy didn't read the, ru- the rubric, so he thinks he's getting a good deal. But in reality, if you didn't participate in the demo, you get zero for that portion. Bet this guy is going to be confused why his grade is so much lower than the rest of us. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm stick it, it to him. I'm all for it. Yep. Yeah. I'm all for it. Get him. Slackers. That, one, that one was okay. That was kind of lame. Yeah. I liked it. That was boring. That was just that's just like normal. Just, once again, I I see it going another way. Right? You yeah. think it would be so much better? I thought they were gonna like pull up some weird, I don't know, video of him or like CG or like CGI AI in him there. in there somehow. I you just know? like it when uh somebody tries to work the system and it goes against him. Because you oh, see yeah. so many times that they end up getting you know, like get so Stick mad it about to it. Him. Yeah. Oh, it's true, yeah. So I'm just like I mean it wasn't the greatest story, but I like the results. There you like, go. Yep. Yeah. I like I that. I agree. No diving without permission. Driving. Driving. No driving without permission. <laughs> <laughs> no no problem. I like diving. <laughs> I know. This story would have gotten real confusing. <laughs> <sighs> Could you imagine it goes into some highway stuff? Where, where does the swimming <laughs> the, come into where's this? the pool? <laughs> this happened when I was 16 years old and I got my driver's license. My parents had me run to the store to pick up some groceries. I stopped by my friend's house on the way back from home for maybe five minutes to show him I got my license and I was out driving alone. It was a really fun moment uh, in the life of a 16-year-old. My stepmom, Marianne, freaked out. We did not give you permission to drive to Bill's house. We told you to go to the store and that's all. Told Marianne and my dad that they had let me drive to Matt's house the day before so I didn't think it was a big deal. They went unreasonable and laid down the unbendable rule that set up the malicious compliance. You are not allowed to drive anywhere. We do not give explicit permission for you to drive. Period. End of sentence. Just because you were allowed to do it previously does not give you permission another time ever. Fast forward three days later. My 13-year-old stepsister has been a jerk to me all day and I'm sick of her BS. She goes quiet for about 30 minutes and then comes out all sticky... All sticky sweet. Hey, Brian, it's time to take me to ballet. I have taken her to ballet three days a week since I got my license. It's basically one of my chores. Cumulicious compliance. I see my opportunity to say, screw you, to all three of them at once. (laughs) Sorry, Tina, I'm not allowed to take you to ballet. The parents didn't tell me to take you, and I don't want to get in trouble. She screams and cries. She she cries. She begs. She threatens. She calls her mom and leaves a message. She calls my dad and leaves a message. No call back from the parents. And the clock goes on past the start of her class. Stepmom comes home and Tina runs to, to meet her. Tina, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be a ballet. I hear Tina and I'll, I'll tell her rendition of the story, leaving out how miserable she had been. And they go back and forth. Marianne comes pounding down the hall and yells, you just wait till your father gets home. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had to stifle a laugh. <laughs> An hour later, dad comes home and the two of them go running out to meet him and tell him how horrible I was. I wait in my room for the hammer to fall. About 10 minutes later, my dad calls down the hall. Brian, would you please come here and talk to us? Well, Brian, you did it. What do you mean, dad? You got us all. 
and there's absolutely nothing we can do about it. Okay. Let's make this reasonable for everyone. <laughs> and they did. They agreed that they were over the top. They recognized that Tina isn't always very nice to me. And they spoke to her about that. I was allowed to have reasonable freedom if I was driving somewhere since I had good grades and never been in trouble. I walked down the hall back to my room and back my back to my parents with the world's biggest grin on my face. That's well, actually fantastic. That's well good. Done. That's great. Well done. Yep. Well done to the kid and well done to the dad to the dad for not being a psycho about it. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Like even the I mean it's like crap. Obviously the dad played. was <laughs> the dad somehow talked the girls into it too. Mm-hmm. Cuz I mean they wanted to be pissed but then once dad was yep. involved suddenly the whole situation was so Kudos to the dad there, too. Sounds like the evil stepmom. Right? Yeah. It's kind of the vibe I'm getting. Stepchildren, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a feeling feeling this is going to be in our our futures. A little bit of malicious compliance when it comes to driving. Yeah. Oh. I was going to say, it was hard enough with I was like, I'm not getting divorced. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) No, I was like, where's the stepmom going, bro? (laughs) That's not in the future plans yet. (laughs) (laughs) Yet, huh? I mean, I don't know what's going to happen. Last one. Won't be my doing. Yeah. There's a lot to go. I mean, we probably have to split this up. We'll save the last nine. You don't want to save, you don't want to do them all right now? You freaking kidding me? (laughs) (laughs) I'm kidding. (laughs) Sarcasm. As you should be. Cue malicious compliance. (laughs) (laughs) If we stop now, we've read eight of them, right? Yeah. Yeah. So if we do one more, that would be nine, and then nine more for wow, the Wow, we could do math, guys. Yeah, this that's nice. the half. So this would be the half point if we do Do you know what that two. is in Spanish? <laughs> La mitad. <laughs> 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 All right, one more. <laughs> Uno más. Thanks, Dora. <laughs> yeah. Last one for the ride. Stay tuned. I'm we'll cover map. these the rest of these in the future. <laughs> it's looking like this one doesn't include the story I was most excited for. So You'll have if to you stick around. enjoyed these, you're gonna have to tune in next time as well. So this is a friendly reminder. That little button next to the subscribe, if you haven't hit the subscribe, also hit that bell to be alerted when we upload ding, new ding. content. Ding 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 ding. Ding ding. Don't look out for your kid <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> Cute oh. malicious compliant. <laughs> <laughs> that went dark quickly. Wow. Oh my god. That's the ice cream man, by the way. <laughs> oh. Dude, I saw something the other day. It was like, what's a sound you can hear during the day that's terrifying at night? And somebody said ice cream man. Hundred percent. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of which, they've got they've disappeared since COVID. <laughs> there Dude, are I, no I more ice cream. I haven't even seen them since freaking like t- 2005. Yeah. I feel. Also, we'd, we'd get made, them in our old neighborhood. He made a good observation. What was it during the summer? He's like, "Where are all the seagulls?" Yeah, where the freaking the seagulls? Oh, when I see was them all the time? You see them all where? Time? Where I haven't yeah. seen seagulls. I it's in, it feels like years. like a year. Oh, that's why there's so many freaking grasshoppers I, I, I everywhere. Say, I have noticed that there's a lot of grasshoppers this yeah. year. Oh, there's grasshoppers. No freaking seagulls. That was because yeah. of the wet spring. But the I see tons. Of, there's tons of them. I Where? See them, I I'm see them in the duck parking hunting. lot They're walking everywhere. to and from my car. Huh. All the time. I've still not seen a single one. Here's I'm the thing, though. You. They used to be everywhere. Well, a lot of the farmland's getting developed, and that's where you'd see them. So now they're all out But west. I remember, like, I, I guess know. that makes sense. When I was a kid... You could throw a piece of bread in the street, and there'd be like 30 seagulls on top. Out of nowhere. In like five minutes. You know what yeah. I see more of now? Crows. I do yeah, see. Yeah, loads of crows. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Crows and ravens. <laughs> yeah. They're creepy. Oh, yeah. Remember that time we left a the movie theater, and there was that like <gasps> murder of crows, like sure. fighting that yeah. owl? Yeah. Uh, ground and... Well, oh, the, yeah, the owl, no, yeah. The owl was the like owl. standing off against them, and they were uh-huh. like, they would just fly and like squawk at him. They that hate was, each other. They that do. Was so yes. That's dope. when we found that out. We looked it up and we're like, oh, apparently that's like a blood rivalry yes. between these things. Didn't yeah. we just leave a horror movie too? No. I, can't I remember think what it was like was. a Marvel film. Oh, they, well, they opened up crow season in Utah. Used to not. Well, that's a it's thing? been a couple of years. Yeah. You shoot crows? It's, yeah. Hmm. Call them in. Eat shoot. crow. 
I they feel like are it weird. Would be like They're weird gross. tasting. I get. Yeah. I feel like it would taste like <laughs> the devil or something. I don't know. <laughs> like the devil. <laughs> I the devil like the devil's like. testicles. <laughs> I don't know. Do you eat a crow? Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> or the bottom part of a banana. It's really. It's a dark. <laughs> oh, I eat those all the time. It's a dark <laughs> meat. <laughs> Ew, do you really? No. <laughs> oh, oh. You know what I hate about those things? Is they don't stick to their own peel. I know. So like you peel them off and then you like want to smash them to the peel to make them stay and they fall off. Uh-huh. What are you talking about? The, the black brow- Satan's Tony anus. doesn't eat bananas. It's the black part oh, of the right. banana. The very bottom part. Oh, the, like like the little, little nipple thing little, that comes up. Yeah. like yeah. butthole looking nipple thing. <laughs> they don't stay to their own peel. They're yeah, so I did gross. not know that. It's so stupid. It makes me so <laughs> mad. <laughs> That's why I've always, like when I've opened up bananas for the kids, I always twist it at that end to leave it in the peel. Like, like with a big, with a, with 10% of the banana. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no. It's, it's if you always get, like you can get it just you right. You squeeze it though. You could just squeeze True. the tip oh, I don't. I well, just, I, I peel it from that end like a monkey. What? Oh, I've heard that actually. So you don't peel a banana from the top. Yeah, of the, you do. No. No, have you ever seen a gorilla? No, I understand that, but just I just it. Try it. Try it. It peels immensely you know what, easier. No. You yes. know what you do? You grab the the long part from like where it was connected to the tree. You hold it, and then you flick the banana, and then it pops it open, and then you can peel it. <laughs> That's nah, man. I'm going to say one more thing about crows real quick. <laughs> okay, go. They are the only thing I've eaten that they are not consistent. Like, they... What? Like, don't sometimes have, like, they're good, sometimes t- they're bad. They're like Barty Bops like, jelly bean, every crow, flavor jelly beans. One crow will taste completely different from another crow. Like, every not, probably like, because like, of its flavor. Depending on what that's... souls it's carried to the right. other side. I wonder, like, <laughs> what, like, you know, if one ate some kerrigan or something, then another one ate corn. I don't know. but like Rats? Yeah. <laughs> An owl. So Eyeballs. You're not diseased by eating crows. Like, yeah, that's kinda, just, that I mean, can't be clean. Can well done. I heard they're remaking the crow. Yes, they are. Okay, <laughs> this isn't a vomit. <laughs> Next <laughs> one. Gross. I just had to say that fun fact. I yeah, like no, that. I like That's it. good. So the guy I who like plays it. it's going to star. Huh? Bill Skarsgård? He's going to be the crow. Yeah, Bill Skarsgård? I yeah. like the Skarsgård family. Yeah. Good dudes. Anyways. Don't look out for your kid, if you say so. Our community garden gets teams of kids from the local high school to come help. It's often the cause, the case, that they turn up on Saturday morning... They're almost all entirely well behaved, which is a good job, as there's there's not a lot we can do about bad behavior beyond a stern voice. However, there's there's this one lad who came for the first time last week. We don't know him, but we made him very welcome. He only lasted about half an hour before storming off in tears after this third telling off wait after his third telling off for spinning round and round, spinning round and round, holding a tool, and then letting it fly off at (laughs) night. (laughs) Wow. This this morning, his mom came with him. He didn't ask to join in, so after shouting hello, we, we let them be. After about 10 minutes, he started wandering, and my friends shouted to him, don't go around behind the greenhouse, mate. It's not safe around there. Well, his mom had obviously been waiting for for this because she went zero to a hundred in two seconds flat, demanding to know, do we own this garden? And if not, what business is it of ours where he where her son goes? We explained we just want him to be safe, and she replied that she is quite capable of taking care of that herself. There's Thank the root you. of the problem. Uh-huh. Yep. Cue malicious intent. Fine compliance. on the kid or compliance. <laughs> Fine on the kid goes exploring behind the greenhouse, which is not safe because it's the compost heap, which is very unstable. <laughs> as there's a muck mound, which is a giant pile of horse manure, we get delivered every autumn. By the spring, the inside of the w- is all nice and rotted out, mm-hmm. and the outside is hard, crust and hard and crusty, and less strong than you think. Oh, no. After a minute, there was a crunch, a squeal. He had, of course, <laughs> fallen in. I think we did very well to drag him out without saying, I told you so, or breaking into guffaws. 
What is guffaws? It's British for laughs, I guess. Okay. He was absolutely black from chest height downward, and although well-rotted manure doesn't smell really bad, it is very thick and sticky and slimy. His mom grabbed him without a word, and they headed for the gate. He started bawling immediately. My friend asked, Would you like some bin bags to spread out in your car? And her, And to her credit, she did say thanks when we handed them over. <laughs> Lessons for both of them. <laughs> I, I would have just let her have her own lesson. Yep. Uh, madam. I'd have been guffawing all day. <laughs> <laughs> guffaws, guffaws. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Today's hashtag, guffaw. <laughs> Good luck spelling it. G-U-F-F-A-W. Uh, guffaw. Okay. Guffaw. That's like a fancy oh, yep. A word for LOL. A loud and boisterous laugh. <laughs> See? Guffaw. I, pic- <laughs> I was going to say, I picture like <laughs> big heavy weight. Like, They're all holding their stomachs. <laughs> top hats. like <laughs> Monocle. <laughs> <laughs> Activist. Mm. Yeah. It's like, it's like Jim Carrey. <laughs> I love it. Love it so That's much. funny. I just stuff. love. This is good stuff. I'm excited for next week. Yep. Yeah. I just love well, when two people weeks are humbled. Us. Yeah. A good little a right? good slice of humble pie. You know. I used that exact phrase today. That's funny. Humble really? pie. I did. Oh, I love it so much. I love it so much. Especially like in the NFL when you're watching someone who's like super cocky and then they get lit and you're oh, like, Oh yeah, dude. Come <laughs> <Guff> on. <laughs> <Guff ball. laughs> <laughs> I like it. Guff on. Guff on. Oh, man. Well, it's on that best. note, it's midnight. It's a midnight. I gotta go to bed. It's, it's actually eleven fifty-six, but okay. it's midnight. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's like that wait you know, where it's twenty-five oh five. I gotta be up in three and a half hours. Cue malicious <laughs> complaints. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You wanna go night night? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. Knock me out. I go night night. So, with that. I'm going to end the podcast now. What's a, what's a hashtag? Guffaw. Guffaw. Oh, Guffaw. I'm sorry. We started a whole conversation. Oh, I'm sorry. Wow. <laughs> you even said good yeah. luck spelling it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. <laughs> you, hey, it's midnight. You were part of that conversation. <laughs> no, it's 11.57. It is. It's 11.57. It's 11.57. I wasn't the one that corrected him. Don't, gu- don't guffaw me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, thanks for joining the podcast tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, tune in next week. For the remainder of this ranker with apparently a very good story. Oh, I'm excited. That Austin is very excited to Well, I don't know over. if it'll be next. Oh, yes. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Just keep listening to every Just podcast. Keep You'll find it. <laughs> it'll come around. It'll happen. But more than likely, it'll be next week. So, uh, yeah, hit that subscribe. Uh, leave a comment. Um, if you have any, uh, you know, sweet revenge stories, <laughs> let us know in the comments. Yeah, Do share. You know, we might be able to read them out next time. So, uh Anyways, thanks for being a part of the crowd. Yes. We love you guys. And uh, enjoy yourselves. Auf Wiedersehen. Ciao. Love you guys. Arrivederci. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.